ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 11th of February. James Spann here, and uh, we're getting set for some active weather today. Severe weather potential definitely there, but before we get into that, a reminder that a hey, Storm Alert 2009 rolls along this week. Coming to Jasper Thursday, tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock at the CHS building. Oxford is next week. Last night, I had a little miniature Storm Alert 2009 out in Sylvan Springs. Wonderful time there with a big crowd. And, of course, we've already had stops in uh, Utah and Trustville. Let's look right down 20th Street, downtown Birmingham this morning. It's pretty balmy. Readings are not too far from 60. The campus of the University of Montevallo camera there. It's down in Shelby County. And how about Philadelphia, Mississippi? Yeah, we have uh, sky cams up over in the adjacent state. And, of course, the uh, reason we do that, we can catch the storms before they get here to see what they look like. Water vapor satellite shot this morning. Very intense storm digging down through Texas. And, boy, what a devastating story in the community of uh, oh, not exactly in Ardmore, in one of the surrounding suburbs there. I believe it's called Lone Grove. Check the blog. I'm doing this from memory. But at least 15 people have been killed there. Uh, very destructive tornado. And again, uh, check the blog for details on that. But, of course, that's rolling on to the east. Here's a look at the regional radar composite this morning. Everything's calm right now. Just a band of uh, showers from eastern Arkansas down into north Louisiana. And uh, things have weakened during the pre-dawn lull here. Uh, instability, basically none. A little uh, sliver up there in southeastern Missouri, uh, but uh, nothing to speak of at this point, but that will change with the daytime heating process. There's a look at the low-level helicity. This is 0 to 1 kilometers, and uh, it's maximized up there over uh, north Arkansas, and those numbers will be pretty sky high today. As you'll see, there's our convective outlook, a slight risk. Uh, for all of Alabama, you know, yesterday the guys at Norman took out the southern half. They put it back here runs all the way from mobile to cleveland in terms of the uh, tornado probabilities only at five percent and understand we don't expect that kind of tornado here today that happened in ardmore last night of course having said that you know with thunderstorms expect the unexpected but we think damaging straight line wind will be the biggest issue there's the uh, wind probabilities Higher probabilities from the Tennessee Valley north, where the uh, dynamic forcing will be better. Uh, Huntsville, Nashville, Louisville, Cincinnati. Uh, the probabilities drop off once you get to Birmingham at points south. But uh, there will be a lot of uh, uh, dynamic forcing here, I think. So I do think we'll see a, a, a fast-moving squall line with potential for damaging wind. QPF graphics, right, suggesting rainfall amounts of 1 to 1 and a half inches. This is valid through Sunday evening. So this takes into account the rain today, the rain we get on Friday. Peek at the instability for today. Now, this is off uh, the new RPM model. We are in the process of upgrading the weather center, and uh, we've got access to some pretty cool new data. This is very high resolution, and uh, this run is pretty aggressive of the RPM. This is showing capes in excess of 2,000 down there in southwest Alabama with capes over 500 up even in north Alabama. So that will be interesting. That is valid uh, at uh, 1230 local time today, just after the lunch hour. And the helicity, again, is just off the chart. This is 0 to 3 kilometer helicity, showing very high numbers, really all the way from Pensacola north up to Indianapolis. Here's the GFS at uh, noon today. Strong negative tilt shortwave, classic severe weather look. And uh, down below that, the surface low is uh, between... Well, it's a little west of Indianapolis with a trailing front. I think the squall line comes into West Alabama probably at 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. It exits the state 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock this afternoon. Looks like a midday event now. Very fast moving. Uh, tomorrow, we're dry. No problem. Sunny, mild. Friday, next impulse rolls along. Rain moving in during the day Friday. Becoming widespread Friday night. Saturday, it's out of here. The rain will be ending early, early Saturday morning, pre-dawn hours. The sky becomes partly sunny, still comfortable with highs in the low 60s. And Sunday, a northerly flow should be a little cooler with maybe a high in the upper 50s, something like that. Some hint of rain 
on the Gulf Coast and south, but not here. And we've got a dry forecast for now, Monday of next week. Looks dry and cooler with that uh, 1,032 millibar high pushing down from the north. And there's the Tuesday impulse. And every run has looked different on this. The, the, you know, we've seen the surface low below New Orleans. We've seen it to the north. We'll just mention a chance of showers Tuesday and fine-tune that later. And then Wednesday, it's gone. Very fast-moving flow pattern here. Go a little deeper into the month, the 24th, short wave passing through, deep surface low to the northeast. And again, every run looks different, but there's been some good consistency in the idea of some system out here at that time. And a couple of days later, into the forecast on the 26th, no sign of any big Arctic blast, but I don't know if I believe that. The NAO really goes negative, and the model is struggling with that uh, change. Some cold air does come down here. We note that 1,056 millibar high, goodness gracious, over Canada. And you know what that means. At some point, it will turn cold here. But exactly when and how cold, we just don't know yet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, frequent updates on the uh, situation today. If we do get into tornado coverage, we'll have that on the live stream on abc3340.com. And more than likely, due to weather, we will not be able to crank out an afternoon video today, but we'll get back on the regular schedule tomorrow. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.